Welcome to the Rideshare Dojo. If you're an Uber or Lyft driver or anyone in the gig economy, this is the place for you. With tips and techniques, interviews with passengers and industry leaders, entertainment, inspiration, motivation. Here, with over 23,000 rides, is your host, Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. Uber drivers, Lyft drivers, Instacart drivers, Postmates, Ease, Zoom drivers, DoorDash, Via, Amazon Prime, Amazon Prime Now, Uber Eats, Grubhub, all you drivers and passengers and all of us who are part of this big, beautiful gig economy, welcome. It is so great to have you here for today's exciting episode. My name is Jay Crater. Let's enter the dojo. Hey, everybody. How are you doing out there? Seriously, how are you doing? If you're a rideshare driver, it's a little bit difficult right now, right? We're experiencing seismic shifts in our industry. Um, The days where, you know, I could say, hey, I think I'm going to go to San Francisco and make $300 on a Saturday. Those days are gone for now, probably gone for the next two, two and a half, maybe three months, right? Things are different now. And for a lot of us, that means we have to really pivot. We got to change how we're looking at our work, right? We got to find new opportunities because uh, just jumping in our car and uh, driving around for 10 hours to make some money, uh, that's not going to happen. Or if you do want to go drive, you're not going to make nearly as much money because people aren't aren't out, right? It's like a third of the country is in shelter at home, which means they're not going out much, not going out much at all. And uh, no matter where you are, the whole social distancing thing, restaurants are closed. You can only go and pick up food. Starbucks, I went to Starbucks today. I had to go to three Starbucks before I found one that was open, right? And you can't go inside the Starbucks. You got to either wait in line, which took like 15 minutes, or you can order, make a mobile, do a mobile order, and then you can pick it up at the front door. It's a different world. Things have changed. So what I'm going to do uh, in this uh, podcast is I'm going to share with you five skills that I've been able to turn into uh, uh, money-making uh, endeavors. Um, I made a video about this, but a lot of you don't see videos. Uh, you just listen to the podcast. So um, I thought I would uh, go over this stuff because I bet there are many of you out there that have some of these skills, any one of them, um, which you could uh, pursue and uh, and maybe turn into, uh, gosh, a whole new career, uh, certainly a way to make some money. All right. So number one, writing. So if you can write, if you can sit in front of your laptop or computer, you know, desk, what we call a desktop and write, right? You can take an idea and flesh it out and put a thousand words out there that make some sense, that has a beginning, a middle, and an end. It's compelling. You got a point of view. You got an opinion to share um, and some content to get out there. You can make money. You could write articles for a blog, for a website, for a magazine, a newspaper, an e-zine, right? Uh, if, you're, if you're like an expert at something, you could uh, write an ebook. And, and, and sell that online. If you got something valuable that people want, you can write a book and publish it on Amazon. If it's a good book, you know, people are, people are going to buy it, read it, and, and there'll be good word of mouth. So that's the first skill. And I've been able to take my, you know, ability to write. And I, I write a lot of articles now uh, for uh, the Rideshare Guy. And uh, I've written a couple books and it's, it's served me really, really well. Okay, number two is making videos, right? Making videos. So there are a lot of businesses that need content, good content. And if you can make a video, someone will pay you for content. If you're really good, you can actually just put videos on YouTube, build a big audience, and and, and monetize it that way. YouTube will pay you uh, because they're going to run advertising um, on YouTube. And... um, You can also use uh, videos. Uh, Let's say you start writing. You can use videos 
to promote yourself and talk about what you wrote about, right? So it's a, it's a way that you could market yourself or your service, uh, anything else that you that you're pursuing uh, besides the rideshare driving. Like for example, if you were um, I don't know, let's say you got into uh, doing yard work, right, uh, cutting lawns or or, or, or uh, some kind of landscape architecture. Well, if you're comfortable making videos, you can make videos to show, you know, what what it is you can do with somebody's yard. You could even put in some testimonials. So there's lots of ways you can use video um, to to benefit you, and you can, and you want to make videos. Um, you could also make videos as uh, like a course, right? So you can d- put together a series of videos. Uh, for example, at the rideshare guide, we just completed a recording all the videos for like a master driver course. Um, so if you're an expert at something and you can teach people something, you can create a course and then you can charge money for it, and people will buy it because it's going to be a lot cheaper for someone to spend you know hundred dollars to learn something rather than try it themselves and lose thousands of dollars, right? So, uh, so that's the second skill set you could you could uh, utilize is making videos. The third skill set is speaking. What I'm doing right now, you know, maybe you you have a passion and you want to start a podcast, and you can build uh, a what we call a tribe of people that are also interested in what it is you're talking about, and you can monetize it with a sponsor. Um, and there are even some services that will find advertisers for you. So that's one way you could use your speaking uh, to, to make some extra money. Another way is you can become an expert on a specific talk, a specific topic, and you can work to get speaking gigs. There are a lot of corporate uh, speaking gigs. If you can teach teach people who work at a company how to be more productive, how to be happier with where they work, right? Teach them a skill set like how to sell more, uh, things like that. Uh, if you have that b- specific background, kind of a skill that's, uh, that you could um, share with other people, large groups, that's another way you can monetize speaking. And you can also host um, live events for free. Um, and then when people come to hear you, at the end of it, you could sell something of value uh, that they would be interested in because they've seen what you can do in the free event. So speaking, that's the third uh, uh, skill set that you could uh, monetize. Number four, this one's huge, is selling. If you have an ability to talk to people in a way that they will change their behaviors, right? They will uh, say, well, you know, I'm using this service, but I like your service more, right? Or uh, I didn't know I needed that product, but wow, I really do now that you've explained it to me, right? So if you can get people to hand you uh, the, the, the green, right, the money, or uh, uh, what I ask people for is give me your credit card, right? I need your credit card so uh, we can start working together. Um, that ability and that uh, willingness to ask for the sale is a rare commodity. Most people are just too afraid to sell because they're too afraid of people saying no. And the fact is people say no all the time. Most people don't buy until they've said no three or four times because when they say no, they get their objections answered and then they feel more comfortable uh, saying yes. So Google just sales positions and you'll find plenty of opportunities, whether you wanna sell advertising, you could sell life insurance, you could sell health insurance, you can sell for companies like Salesforce or Yelp. Companies are, in, uh, they're always in need of good quality salespeople, especially now when uh, the economy is not doing so well they really need good salespeople because it's going to be tougher to sell stuff when uh, people don't have as much money and they're in a bit of a state of panic. But just uh, just yesterday, uh, I decided to get uh, life insurance, um, and you know, I talked to this guy named Ryan who works for a company called Health IQ, which I found on the internet, and uh, he made a sale. Right? I said, okay, your policy sounds great. I compared prices, and boom. So there's jobs out there. You just got to go out and look. And the fifth and final skill set, which you can monetize, is coaching. So I've been a coach or a trainer for many, many years. The ability to work with people and teach them an important skill or to convey important knowledge is very, very valuable. Uh, People want certain things, right? Uh, A buddy of mine, he coaches women 
how to find upper up, upper upper end men. You know, men who uh, earn a good living and are decent guys. And women pay him a lot of money to have access to his technology for them to find uh, find their their future husband. Uh, people will pay a lot of money to learn how to sell. People will pay a lot of money to learn how to attract clients, right? People will pay a lot of money to learn how to get into better shape, how to get the six-pack abs. All of these things are businesses that can be created um, in this field of coaching. So you can start your own coaching business. You know, what are you an expert at? What can you provide to people that will have them say, that's priceless. You know, I have to have that. I, I want to pay you to teach me how to do that. Um, or um, you join an established uh, company that needs that needs coaches, right? So there are some companies that have a whole bunch of coaches and, uh, you know, they have a certain protocol that all the coaches follow. Um, and if that sounds like something you want to do, just, again, start Googling, start looking around, and you got to start putting your name out there, all right? So coaching is a fantastic business because you can coach many people at a time, uh, like doing a Zoom call, on an online Zoom call with a whole bunch of people, um, and they're all paying you, uh, but you're coaching all of them at the same time. So it, it's a it's a tremendous business uh, if you have um, you know a skill uh, knowledge that you can share with others that that they would want. Now, so what so it's like the key takeaway from what I've shared with you. The thing I want to share with you is that. All of these things require you to push yourself beyond your comfort zone, and that does not necessarily feel good. And why why do you resist it? Because there's a chance you're going to fail. And I'll tell you right now, you are going to fail, and it's in the failing that you're going to learn, and you're going to do it again with a little bit better, and you're going to fail again, and then you're going to learn. And it's just a series of failing and learning and then you start to get it right, and then you get it more right and more right, and you just keep doing it, and eventually you're doing it real right. And that's, that's of course, where, where you want to be. So it's more challenging what I'm sharing with you than it is to, you know, sign up with Uber or Lyft and 24 to 48 hours, you know, you're driving a car and you just got to learn a few things, the buttons to push on an app. Um yeah, so that's that's not this. This requires you to dig a little deeper, uh, but trying times uh, produce uh, pretty miraculous results. And this is a trying time. This is the time of COVID-19. This is a time where uh, many, many people aren't working, and, uh, and it's a tough time to be a rideshare driver. So I share this uh, all with you with love in my heart because uh, these are the skills that I've been able to uh, turn into some revenue, and you can too, right? I'm nothing special, so uh, it just takes courage. And 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 basically, here's the other thing I'll share with you. What it, I say it takes courage, but what it really takes is you getting really crystal clear on what you want, right? Um, do you just want to be sitting at home, worrying and panicking, or do you want to be in the game, right? Trying to make something happen. You know, what's your long term goal? Right, for like for me, you've heard me say this before. It's to be able to travel and work. Well, I, I can't travel right now, but I'm still work. I'm still building a business so that I I, I can right. So I can, uh, if I could travel, I could go to Thailand today and live there for six months and still do my work because I'll do it all through the internet. That's my vision, and that's been my vision for a while, and I've been working on this for a long time. So once you get really clear on your vision, then the fear kind of uh, subsides a bit. Because all that matters is that you are moving towards your vision, and that is so exciting, so invigorating that uh, you know very little is going to to slow you down. Even though you get afraid, your desire to achieve the thing that you have envisioned is so strong. Uh, and this is the kind of stuff that I coach people on. But get really clear, you know. Now that you've got a little bit of time, wh- where do you want to be in a year? Uh, what? Uh, What's going to excite you? What's going to have you waking up every day feeling like, wow, this is so great that I get to do this every day and uh, make money and uh, and live my, my life the way I wanted to live it, what they call my, my dream life. All right. Okay. Covered a lot of stuff today. I hope that helps you out there. Um, I'm going to wrap this up. All right. So fist bump to all you drivers out there. You guys rock it every day. I honor you. 
especially if you're driving now, man. You are like truly a road warrior. Thank you for sharing your journey with me. Be safe out there. This is Jay Crater, Nomad Jay, saying this episode is in the can. Loved this episode of the Rideshare Dojo podcast? Head over to iTunes to subscribe, rate, and leave a review. It really helps, and it's very much appreciated. Be sure to visit RideshareDojo.com to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Thanks for listening, and be safe out there.